Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to export projects out of iMovie, changing the resolution to the appropriate file format and exporting to your camera roll or uploading to your favorite social media platform. There's been some changes to the way you do this in the latest version of iMovie that was just released in November 2020. So in order to export your projects out of iMovie, the first thing you need to do is to complete your project by tapping on the done icon on the top left hand corner and that will automatically save your project down ready for export. When you do that, you'll be taken back to the projects window and you'll see three icons appear at the base of the screen. There's a play button icon, the export option and the trash can icon for deleting your project altogether. Before we go ahead to the export screen, let's just change the name of our project so that when we export our project, we have a file name that's consistent with our project name. So tap and hold on the title until the text becomes selectable and then type in your new title. Then tap on the middle icon for export. And when you do that, an export screen will slide up from the bottom of the screen and you can instantly share with other devices or social media platforms. But before we do that, we're gonna go in and make sure that we've adjusted the settings of our project before sharing. And to do that, we need to tap on the options menu just below our title, which is highlighted in blue. And you can now choose to save your project down as a video file or a project file. So if you wanna to continue to edit the project on another iOS device or even with iMovie for OS 10 on a desktop computer, you can select the project option, save it down to your camera roll, and then share it with that other device or computer. But for most people, when you're using iMovie for an iOS device, you're pretty much gonna be ready to share immediately on your social media platform of choice or with friends and family around you. So in order to do that, you'll be selecting the video option. And when you do that, you can then select the resolution for your video. You can go anywhere from 360p to 540p, 720p, 1080p HD or 4K. So in order to determine which resolution is best for you, that's going to depend on two things. First of all, the original resolution of the video footage that you've used in your project. So if you've shot on an iPhone, it's probably already gonna be in 1080p resolution. Sometimes in order to save space on your iPhone, you may have selected 720p as your video resolution. If that's the case, you may as well export at that resolution. And for those of you that record in 4K, you can choose to export the project out in 4K. And the final option is to select the frame rate of the video file that you're producing, whether it will be 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. And once again, that's going to depend entirely on the video footage that was shot originally. If it was a face to camera or vlog type of scene, that's usually shot at 30 frames per second. If it's an action scene or high speed video, that would be shot at 60 frames per second. Tap on done on the top right hand corner of the screen and then tap on save video. The video will now be downloaded. This might take some time depending on how large your project is. The video will soon appear in your camera roll and you can go and share it to your favorite social media platform. Now for those of you uploading to a particular platform frequently, you can take advantage of the instant upload by using the social media icons that appear just above the copy and save video option. And by default, you should see your most frequently used social media apps from Instagram to WhatsApp, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. If by chance you don't see that social media icon appear, tap on the more option and select from the suggestions below. Now, for example, if I want to save to YouTube, I'll tap on the YouTube option. And in order to facilitate the direct upload from iMovie, I'll need to log into my YouTube account. And once I've done that, I can then change my title, add a description, add some tags, also specify the size or resolution of the video file there, and select whether it's going to be private, unlisted, or public, and even select a location tag, which of course is optional. Press on upload and your file will be automatically uploaded to video. Now, when you use this direct method of upload to YouTube or any social media platform, you don't have the full flexibility of being able to add a custom thumbnail as you would when you're using the YouTube app itself or Instagram TV, etc. So my preference is always to save the video file out as I showed you in the previous step 
saving it to the camera roll, and then going into that social media app itself and uploading it from the camera roll and using YouTube, for example, to add all the parameters, including the title, description, tags, and thumbnail, etc. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell next to it so that you're notified as soon as brand new videos become available. And as always, if you have any questions on the content you've seen today, feel free to put them in the comments box below. See you on the next one. Bye for now.